Have you ever wondered what's the difference between a 243 Winchester and a 6.5 Creedmoor on mild steel? Well, you came to the right place because in today's video we're going to try and figure this out. 20 inches versus 20 inches. Let's go ahead and get some velocities. We got an average velocity of 2708 feet a second with a standard deviation of 20.9. The 140 grain soft point was going an average of 2,642 feet a second with a standard deviation of 21.8. Did I almost forget to mention that I have a second load for each of these cartridges? Well I do, and they're using solid copper bullets, and the difference between these ones, other than being solid copper, is that they're a lot lighter than the other bullets, so they should be going faster, but we'll have to go ahead and see. The 85 grain copper bullet was doing pretty good at 3,022 feet a second with a standard deviation of 15.2. The 120 grain copper bullet was going an average of 2,820 feet a second with a standard deviation of 12.8. For those of you who don't know, this is Steel Sled 4.0 and in the last video we had a little bit of a mishap. We actually lost part of the clamp back here, but that's alright because this part right here is still able to clamp down on these faces right here. So you probably already know the drill, but let's go ahead and get that quarter inch mild steel plate mounted in that bad boy. See, I told you it still clamps. How about we head back to the bench and start with that 243? Well, it doesn't get too much better than that. Both went through the quarter inch, as expected, but that's about the smallest hole I've ever seen right there, and that solid copper one is pretty easy to point out. It may or may not be a waste of ammo to shoot this quarter inch mild steel plate with a 6.5 Creedmoor, because I think we already know what's going to happen, but let's go do it anyways. I'm not going to lie, after those two shots I thought I was going to have something that resembled the number 4 side of a die, but unfortunately the solid copper bullet right here had such a point of impact shift that it literally almost landed on top of the first shot right here. But anyway, both went through. So, now that we know that everything went through a quarter inch of mild steel, let's go ahead and step it up a little. And you already know that it's a 3 8 inch mild steel plate. There we go. I was kind of worried about this. The lead core bullet went straight through the 3 8 inch mild steel plate, but the solid copper one did not. It looks way cooler though. So how's about we head back to the bench and see if the Creedmoor can produce any different results. Looks like I found a piece of the steel that got punched through. That looks pretty cool right there. Whew, it's pretty freaking hot though. Nope, same exact results. I just can't get over how cool those copper ones look though. I don't know why solid copper bullets suck so bad on mild steel, but the show must go on. So let's go ahead and step it up a little bit more. And that's this half inch mild steel plate right here. Now I really, really think that this plate right here is going to give both cartridges a run for their money, but let's go ahead and test it out. I bet that's the last time that I have to crank that thing down today, because I think we're good to go. So far, I am one for one. The 243 was not able to make it through that half-inch mild steel plate, although it looks pretty close. Let's go back and see if the Creedmoor can do any better. Looks like I am two for two. That's what I'm talking about right there. As much as I wanted them to go through this half inch mild steel plate, neither the 6.5 Creedmoor or the 243 Winchester went through. So, you know what that means. It's time to grind. From 
from what I can see, it couldn't be too much closer than this, so let's see which one actually penetrated deeper. Actually, it definitely could have been closer. My eyes just must not have been working or something, and I'm just making excuses at this point. But anyway, the 6.5 Creedmoor penetrated 382 thousandths into that half-inch mild steel plate. That's some solid performance right there. And even though the 243 was actually going faster than the 6.5 Creedmoor, it only ended up penetrating 330 thousandths into that half-inch mild steel plate. I thought it was way closer than that. So what are some takeaways from this testing? Well, number one, solid copper bullets absolutely suck at penetrating mild steel. I don't know the exact reasoning behind this, but I have tested several calibers with solid copper bullets, and I don't think I've had a single one go through 3 8 7 inch of mild steel. I thought for sure that the 243 with the 80 grain solid copper bullet going over 3,000 feet a second was going to go straight through that 3 8 inch mild steel plate, but it just didn't. Number two, we learned that the 243 Winchester is just not as efficient out of a 20 inch barrel as the 6.5 Creedmoor is. Now, what exactly do I mean by this? Well, according to the box, the 243 Winchester with the 100 grain soft point that I was using was supposed to be getting 2,960 feet a second, so it was getting about 250 feet a second less than that out of a 20 inch barrel. I'm not sure exactly what barrel length they got this velocity out of, but if I had to guess it was probably a 24 inch barrel. The 6.5 Creedmoor on the other hand, at least according to the box with a 140 grain soft point was supposed to be getting 2750 feet a second at the muzzle. And we were getting about 100 feet a second less than this, which is actually not too bad. I thought it was going to lose a lot more out of a 20 inch barrel. Because of this though, the 6.5 Creedmoor was actually producing over 500 foot pounds more kinetic energy at the muzzle than the 243 was. Which if we translate this to the penetration depths that we got, it should have been a much larger difference between the 6.5 Creedmoor and the 243. Now don't get me wrong, if both cartridges were going the exact velocity that was claimed on the box, the 6.5 Creedmoor would still be producing over 400 foot-pounds more than the 243 Winchester, so it's really not that big of a difference, but still, I think it helped the 6.5 Creedmoor out quite a bit. And number three, in general, 243 bullets have a relatively bad sectional density, mainly because of their limited weight. So the 100 grain soft point that I was using in the 243 Winchester only has a sectional density of 0.242, which is a lot lower than the 140 grain soft point that I was using in the 6.5 Creedmoor, which has a sectional density of 0.287. That is quite the difference there, and after looking over all these things, I am honestly shocked that the 243 Winchester did as well as it did in this penetration testing. Like I said though, I really thought that the 80 grain solid copper bullet out of the 243 was going to do a lot better than it did, but that just is what it is. But anyway, I really hope that you enjoyed today's video. Thanks so much for watching, and remember, don't let ballistics drive you bananas.